Who's ready to praise the Lord some more? Yes. I said, who's ready to praise the Lord some more? Are you guys ready to worship? I want you to make some Holy Ghost noise if you can feel the Lord's presence here with us tonight. If you can feel his presence.
amen and amen. Woo. It has been one fantastic afternoon becoming an evening. Yes. But every moment of every day and night is an opportunity to praise the Lord. Amen. And to remember his grace and his mercy and his glory. Yes. Even during times where it don't, we don't feel like we want to, even, even during times where, where it feels useless. Well, God never let go of us. Yes. God never gave up on us. Hallelujah. So we just hope that, uh, just like the uh, um, bands before us, that these songs are a blessing to you. And if you find yourself uh, visiting us, and maybe you're not so into this whole church thing, you're kind of wondering, okay, what's, what's the deal here? Well, we hope to bless you all the same. Yes. Amen. I want to introduce the band here while, while we're here. Uh, back on the skins, we got Brad Conklin. All right. Do everything you do to the glory of God. Amen. And the guy <laughs> talking over there, that's Pastor Trent Malanke on guitar. God bless you guys. Let's, let's hear a little bit of your, uh, your guitar there, Trent. You know, here's the thing. That's about enough of that. Here's the thing, though. He he runs a concrete business by day, and he rocks out at night. So whether or not he went to the school of hard knocks, he rocks out for the glory of God. So <laughs> the most glorifying thing I do is is I'm a youth pastor here at Life Church. Yeah. Um, if you have any youth that want to be that one wants to pour into them, we're equipping today's youth to be tomorrow's leaders. I believe that the church is going to be propelled by the youth of today. So we need to instill leadership skills into them and, and keep preaching the word to them and just fill them full of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. All right, so if you have any kids, Wednesday nights, we're open at, at 7 to 8 for the kids. Um, any youth, I don't care I don't care how old they are. They don't have to be teenagers. If they, you have kids that want to come hang out with us, we, we got time for them. And also, we will um, in the winter hours, we'll be, we'll be opening from 6 o'clock to 8 o'clock because you just don't have enough time to worship and get everything done. So um, put us on your schedule, all right? God bless you guys. Amen, amen. Well, one more thing, one more thing. Before if Casey takes off, be sure to shake the police officer's hand. Tell them how much you appreciate them. Yes. We appreciate you, the police officers, the Bloomington Police Department. We appreciate our armed service uh, members who are serving those overseas. Um, if uh, you know, we enjoy this freedom uh, because of the, the very things that they do for us, and they protect us and watch over us. So we're grateful for you. Thank you for coming. Uh, it meant the world to us. We're praying for you, and uh, just to let it, let all your buddies know that we're praying for the police department. Okay, we love you guys. Thank you so much. And his name is Ian. I did meet him, and he is a very friendly, nice guy. Yes. So sorry, yeah, Ian Anderson. <laughs> Ian Anderson, right. Officer Anderson. Yes. So right here in the front row center uh, is my wife, Angie Henshaw. Give it up for her. She's helping us out on vocals. And uh, I'm Billy. And uh, yeah. we're going we're gonna to keep things going here. And... Uh, you know, some of you uh, came tonight. You thought you were just coming to a concert. And that's fine. But hopefully you've come and you've received and you've been able to take part in so much more. And I know that uh, we're the last band here. And some of you have been doing this already, but I'd like to ask those of you who are here who feel led in the spirit. How about let's make this more of a, less of a concert. Still a concert, maybe. Let's have a church service, amen? Let's worship we have a the church Lord, service? Yeah. Come on down. Your love, O oh Lord, reaches to the heavens. Your faithfulness stretches to the skies. Your righteousness is like the mighty mountains. Hail. Your justice flows like the ocean's tide. And I will lift my arms to worship you, my King. I will find my strength in the 
or seen reference to this all over the place. But we're, tonight we're going to give you another way to think about this, another way to sing about it. Let's just listen to this. For God so loved the world that he gave his only son who so shall have eternal life. Yes, Lord. I shall hold to the cross. I shall hold to God alone for His love has salvaged me for his love has set me free for God so love for God so love the world that he Eternal 
I shall wait upon the Lord. I shall wait upon His word, and by His grace, I am released. And by His grace. clapping for praise the Lord see God didn't just love a few people God loves every people he loves all the people of the world we're all created in his image that's what the word of God tells us we're created in the image of the living God if you believe one thing today believe that that's a promise and it comes from his word I just want you guys to know that uh, I'm gonna say a couple things uh, this, this whole event, this Thrive event, was designed around a, a sermon that I wrote for this church um, to the, for the youth, actually. It was, it was, the event was called, it's called Thrive. And to thrive means to grow vigorously, to flourish. And I think if we look at where we've come in a year, I think this is uh, flourishing as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we're outside. It's beautiful out here. We're worshiping God. We're glorifying God. I see children um, having fun and putting Bible verses on, on rocks. Um, and uh, there's a lot of change going on. So and to remember this, that with, without thriving, without change, thriving is nearly impossible. So I, I look forward to what God is going to do this year, what God is going to do with, through, uh, through all the churches that are, that are serving here in the same building. Um, and we're just so grateful that you all have come out. And remember, tonight, it's, it's about Jesus. It's really about him. And the big takeaway is that we were in his presence. You know, it says that in the Bible that all things were created for and by and through him. So he's worthy of our praise. He's worthy of our worship. The Father tells us that. And in his word tells us that. And the Holy Spirit convicts that in our hearts. And so if you, you want to start to thrive, you're going to have to immerse yourself in the word of God. Because you cannot change unless you start to read the word of God. That's how change comes about in our lives. And the Holy Spirit makes that happen. So... I thank you all for being here tonight, and I'm so grateful that you're here, and uh, 
it's just been this this event is just amazing it's been such an amazing time and, and it's been a lot of work but we're so grateful that you all are here praise be to god praise be to god Let's give it up for Brad Conklin on the drums. And now, like I said, there's the only way to change is by the word of God. John 1 says, in the beginning was the word. And the word was God. And the word was with, with God. And the word was God. 1 Timothy 2.5 says, for there is only one God and one mediator who can reconcile God with humanity. The man, Jesus Christ. See, there are not many ways to salvation. And Jesus, or Peter actually, in Acts 2 says, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. See, God is pouring out His Spirit on all flesh. God doesn't want anyone to perish. That's the song we sang about, For God So Loved the World. And again, Philippians 2, 8 and through 11 says this, And being found in the appearance as a man, he humbled himself by becoming obedient unto death, even death on a cross. Therefore God exalted him into the highest place and gave him the name that is above every other name. Amen? And the name of, that of Jesus that every knee should bow and every tongue should confess under heaven and under the earth that will say that Jesus Christ is Lord. 
just want you to know, you know, a lot of the world doesn't see it that way. And maybe you haven't seen Jesus in that light. Well, I tell you this, that he is in fact God and he is our savior and we're all in desperate need of a savior. And we want to invite you to come to our worship services, to, to any one of these services that we have, because if you don't have a relationship with God, that's what we want for you. You know, back in the Bible, God talked to Abraham. He counted Abraham as righteous. It wasn't because Abraham did all these great things. It wasn't because Abraham did all these things for God. Sometimes I get mixed up in that. And I think I got to do all these things for God. But what he says is God counted Abraham as righteous because he was a friend of God. And I don't know about you, but I want to be a friend of God. I don't want to just, just work aimlessly, but I want to work because God is my friend and because God wants us to communicate with him. So get, get your butts to church, get your butts in the Bible, and, and, and start studying and, and find out who Jesus is if you don't know. And if you do know, we'll, we'll dig deeper because you know what? We could never exhaust what God has for us. The Bible says that all the knowledge of the world, all the books of the world could not contain the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Our God is all powerful. Maybe this season you've been struggling with a sickness. God can heal that. You know, we don't know what your troubles are, but you can bring them to us. All the leaders here, come find us. Look us up. We're here for you. We will pray with you. We'll lay hands on you. The Bible tells us if you're sick, we'll lay hands on you. Um, we're opening our, our, our children's ministries again. We're really getting things fired up for God, and I, I want you guys to jump on board. God is going to do amazing things right here right here in this community, right here, starting right here. It starts with us. It starts with us. Revival and all those things, it starts with us. But I can tell you what, God is on board with what we got going on. As long as we're in the word and as long as we're praying and we're doing the things that we're supposed to do, um, don't let the world beat you up too bad. Jesus says, don't worry. I got your back. He's got our back. He always has. Okay. So we love you guys. I'm not going to preach a whole sermon tonight, although I would love to. Uh, trust me, I would. I would. But God is so good. Um, um, it, it makes me want to shout from the rooftop. So that's why this, this concert kind of came up with that idea. We were going to sing songs and glorify God from the rooftop tonight. So um, join with us, okay? Thank you. 
something how about you Billy do you hear something no how about you Brad I think I do actually I think you guys I think Brad hears something too I'm still waiting it's not for lack of faith I just don't hear anything oh I, I, I know I definitely hear something you guys listen up listen up listen up oh there it is oh yeah there it is Through, since it's when it's possible, if 
stop you Fridays disappoint Sunday's empty too Since when has impossible ever stopped you This is the sound of dry bones rattling Make a dead man walk again Open the grave, I'm coming now I'm gonna live, gonna live again This is the sound of dry bones rattling
catch his breath. <laughs> I didn't say it was over. <laughs> Let's give thanks to the Lord for his love endures forever. Right? Thank you guys so much. You guys are all standing there like, what was that? <laughs> God is good. God is good. Remember, remember, all music glorifies God, just not some lyrics, right? So God loves music. Trent, Trent you left them hanging. You got to, you like, here's what you do. God is good. And all the time. Yeah. Sorry for leaving you hanging. <laughs> Look at all the workers. Thank you guys, everyone who helped put this on and worked and set up tables. And my lovely wife, Phyllis, who did cook the Sloppy Woo! Joes and everybody else who made food. Um, uh, I couldn't do this ministry without her and what we do. So well, thank you for everyone for coming. It was an amazing night. Remember, thrive. Without change, thriving is nearly impossible. So we're going we're gonna to trust in God for change this year. We're going to trust that God's going to move. God's going to do amazing things. God wants to use you. So if, you're, if you haven't been used this year by God, allow him, ask him what you want. he wants you to do. And I'm sure he will reveal it to you. Because God has a lot of things that he wants us to do. He doesn't need us, but he loves us, right? And, rem and remember this. In this crazy world, it's, you can't please all people. But our old pastor, not our old pastor, but our, our, our pastor Witter said, you can't, you I can't remember what I'm saying now. <laughs> you, you, it's been a long day. Yeah, it's been a long day. Sorry about that. But anyways, God is so good. We love you guys. Thank you again for coming. Oh, oh, that's it. You can't please people, but you can please God. That's what it was. I'm sorry. You can please people, but you, you can't please people, but you can please God. So amazing. Yes, thank you all for coming. Thank you. And we'll see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> and then we'll, we'll worship again. I'm looking forward to it.